All right. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, depending upon where you are in the country. You are on the very first official Saturday webinar training for Savion. My name is Steve Gawacki. I am the Savion Corporate Marketing Director, and I have the pleasure of joining uh, with today our master affiliate in the field, Mr. Kevin Marino. Kevin, why don't you come on the microphone and greet everybody, and uh, let's make sure your audio is up and live and running, and we can uh, get going with this morning training, afternoon for some. Kevin, are you there? Okay, looks like Kevin dropped off. He's going to be back in here in a second. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to go ahead and up-to-date you on a few things happening. Uh, last night, we posted a brand-new video. And if you haven't subscribed to our video channel, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and type in the chat to where you should go to subscribe uh, to our video channel. Go to that link right there, SavionVideos.com. It takes you to our YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button. That way, anytime we put a new video up, which is going to be frequently, you will know about it right away. Okay? And the video channel is where all of our training and our uh, promotional videos and marketing videos, everything that we put together is going to be on YouTube for you to easily grab and share with other people. So um, we did post a new 28-day membership uh, cycle training yesterday to help everybody uh, get a better understanding how the 28-day membership works. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of good comments and feedback come back from that, so we're excited about that. Kevin's actually going to touch on that a little bit more today, um, and he has just a great um, way of explaining it even better than I can, and uh, so I'm going to be uh, taking notes when he uh, touches on that later in the presentation today. But um, that video is up and running, so make sure you get a chance to look at it. Um, we do have some events coming up here in the next uh, couple weeks, guys. Very exciting. Um, Mr. E.J. Dalius is going to be in Dallas on December the 1st. Uh, I think that is a Tuesday. Yes, it is. It is a Tuesday. And they're going to be located down there uh, right across the street from the Cowboys football stadium at a uh, location there doing an event. I know there's a lot of people coming from all over uh, Texas for this event. So if you know people within a few, three, four hours, you know, Houston, Austin, Dallas, anywhere in the Metroplex, um, Oklahoma City, you know, get them down to this event, guys. This is going to be a great uh, presentation. Uh, you know, EJ Dallas has uh, made seven figures in the industry. He definitely knows how to put on a great and very exciting presentation. So you will definitely want to get your people there. Uh, then the following week in uh, December 12th in, uh, I forget what it's called. Let me look here again. It's called Rye Brook, Rye Brook, New York. Um, we will have an event in uh, New York, Connecticut, border there at the Hilton Hotel in Rye Brook, Westchester. And Kevin uh, will be there. I will be there. Many, many of our top Northeast leaders are going to be there. And again, people from all over the Northeast region will be coming out. And, and we expect this will be double, maybe even triple the size of our event we had a few weeks ago in Pennsylvania. So that's going to be very exciting. And uh, I'll put that information up here real quick. If you want to write it down, it's at the Hilton Westchester in Rybrook, New York. If you need directions, you can uh, Google it or write the phone number down, give them a call and get directions. Um, I don't think we have a pre-registration set up online for that event. Uh, we may. Kevin, maybe you can address that. Kevin, is your microphone working yet? Come on out here, Kevin, and say hello to us. Hopefully your mic is up and live now. I see you back in the room. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to have, you know what they say, ladies and gentlemen, the show must go on, okay? We're going to go ahead and, okay, now I'm getting more people saying they can hear. So we're going to move on here. Uh, Kevin, anything you want to add about the regional event? I mean, do they need to, is there going to be a registration or do they just show up at the door? You know, can you tell us a little bit about this event? Um, um, what, uh, what people might expect if they make the effort to be there? Yeah, we're going to, there's going to be a, um, a, a sign-up page that's being put together, uh, and they'll actually be able to have it right there online, register, and then show up. Okay, and what are the times? What times does it start? How long does it go till? Is it a super Saturday? Are we doing just a presentation, training? What can people expect? You know, what are the, what's the time frame of the event and so forth? Uh, the time frame we have right now is people are going to be uh, showing up. Uh, we're, we're shooting for 
a 10.30 meet and greet, get started promptly by 11, and then be able to be out and on their way and back to their Christmas shopping and all their their fun stuff uh, by 2 p.m. And for that event, we're also looking to have the illustrious president of our company uh, join us, uh, Mr. John Sheehan. That should be exciting. Wow. So this is going to be um, um, a heavy, heavy hitter here. The three guys on that web page are all going to be there and live in person in Rybrook, New York. So, guys, I would definitely make plans to... uh, if you can't be there, get your people there for sure. But if you had people that were willing to come, make an effort to come, get there. This is going to be a, a really powerful event to have John Sheehan, the president there, Kevin Marino, myself. We're all going to be there to uh, be doing different parts of the, the presentation for Savion and also to be there to uh, greet and meet all your new people and uh, really make them feel comfortable about their decision to get started. So that's uh, that's kind of what's on deck here, guys, in the next couple of weeks. So just make a note. And, uh, you know, just want to thank everybody for the great work that's happening out there in the field. We've really, really grown tremendously this past week. Uh, it's like we hit another gear, okay? We were in first gear before. I think we shifted safely into the second gear. And I know after this next week with these events coming up, we're going to shift into another gear. And we are definitely, you can feel the momentum building in Savion. It's starting to happen all around the country, and thanks to your hard work and effort, appreciate everyone's contributions. Um, you know, at, at many different levels, uh, we had a great event on Thanksgiving, by the way. If you missed that, and I know many of you did, okay, uh, because you were with your families, and I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, while you were maybe sleeping after having a big plate full of turkey, uh, Zach Hyam. Susan Peppelman, Jay Dallas, and myself, we did a presentation Thursday night on the same webinar and it recorded and placed into our video channel on SavianVideos.com that um, we had our uh, normal business presentation first, but then we had 25 to 30 of some just excellent, excellent information and training. If you haven't seen that video, guys, you need to go there and, of course, you can fast forward over the first 25 minutes. You've the business presentation already. Just go fast forward to the last 25 minutes starting with Zach and Susan they do a great job talking about what you can a brand new member uh, with Savion on Facebook during the holiday sin to really build momentum through the holidays a lot of people are marking you know they get to about the middle of the month of December and they just kind of start to pack it in month and it's like well what's the point no one's really going to be doing anything you know they're all busy with Christmas and I'm just gonna you know hold off now until January 3rd uh, folks I can promise you that nobody thinks that way here at Zavia we are gonna plow right through the holidays and make it a momentum builder not a momentum breaker because we have percent cash back shopping other companies they don't have that luxury okay they might have products that are really in need or you know, a desire to buy at this time of year, but our membership at 20% cash back as people will be shopping all the way through Christmas, even after Christmas with their newly uh, minted gift card they just got in their stocking. They're going to be out shopping for deals and they can get 20% even on top of that. So guess what? Guys, Savvy is keep going all the way through the month of December. And Zach and Susan did a great job telling you how you use Facebook to capitalize on that. And then EJ did a great training on using these events and also uh, um, some other tips on how on the offline segment. So for you know we have a mixture of uh, old school marketers here. We've got the younger, new generation of on, online marketers, and some of us are a blend of both. But you know there definitely is a lot of ways to build and promote Savion, and that training was a great one to catch. So if you missed it, go to the Savion videos this weekend, watch the replay of that webinar. And uh, with that, I think that's all the announcements I wanted to get out right now. We're going to jump into some training here today. And I have a training here that I put together for Pennsylvania that I never got a chance to show. We had some technical issues. When I say we, I guess I should clarify, I had some technical issues with my computer, okay, uh, that uh, it didn't want to co- cooperate. It was one of those very bad computer days that I don't care to relive it. For those of you that were at the event and I told you I was going to go out and fix the problem, well, here's another up. Yesterday, a new laptop came home with me. 
uh, on Black Friday. So but that won't happen anymore. I'm very happy about that. So, uh, Kevin, you can be confident in uh, New York that we won't have a replay of the last time. Okay, so at this presentation, I never got a chance to show in Pennsylvania. It's basically a stepped up. It's very quick. It's very short. It's only 12 slides. But I think, you know, again, this highlights a brand new person, how easy it is to use your membership. Guys, you know, you got to remember that uh, one of the uh, powerful things about our product is the simplicity. And that includes the use of it and getting access to it and, and all that goes with that. So uh, this part here, I know for some of you that you're, you're – Many people on the webinar today have been with the company for a while, and you've already figured these steps out, and that's okay. We've got something for you in the webinar yet. Yeah, just just hang around for a few minutes. Right now, I want to talk to the the Smithsonian. You're a funny guy, man. You know, no, actually, where it, it needs to go is on a rope on the bottom of the Mississippi River as a boat anchor. That's where it needs to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the step by step for the benefit of our newest members. Now. Um, the chat is open right now. If you're a new member in the last seven days, I want you to go ahead and say, that's me. Type that in the chat right now. Okay? If you're on the webinar, you just joined Savian in the last week, put that's me. Type that in the chat right now. Do we have any members that just joined in the last seven days? Did you join yesterday, the day before, the day before that? Anybody on the webinar? I just want to know who we, who we have as an audience today. We have nobody that just joined the last week. We're all pros on here today? Oh, I'm, I'm shocked by that. I'm thinking that we have a lot of shy people that don't want to type in their information is what I'm thinking, but that's okay. Um, basically, this is kind of a step-by-step -step thing. It may seem very simple and very self-explanatory, but believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of people um, who need this extra information. So let's go ahead and talk about the step-by-step -step of getting on board and using your membership. The first thing you want to do is go to Savion. Dot net and that is s a i v i a n dot net is the website. It'll bring up this uh, uh, web page right here. Okay, and uh, to log in, um, you can either go right to your site, putting your username in front, and then solving dot net, or just go to solving dot net and click on the login button up here, uh, which is the very next step. Okay, so once you click on the login button, then you're going to see the login box as is illustrated here by the red arrow. And punch in your username and password. Now, initially, that username number, and uh, it will be uh, emailed to you in your welcome email what that initial information is. Now, you're going to want to go ahead and change that. So your first login is probably going to have a number uh, for both the username and password, the temporary. And then when you come in, actually get logged in the first time, you're going to go into your profile, and you're going to be able to change your information. You see up here, uh, you're going to be able to change your username right here. And you'll be able to change your password right here. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do is get your profile filled out, put in your information and uh, your address and so forth, and make a real username that works for you. Um, if it's av not available, it'll tell you. If uh, you pick something like Top Gun, for example, somebody else might have already chosen that. It will tell you. It will tell you to pick a different one. But uh, whatever username you can remember, um, and this isn't necessarily your marketing name for your website okay we actually give you a separate place as you can see right here to put in a special name for your username for your website link so the www dot and I put in player dot savion dot net or you know uh, whatever your your name that you want to have on there is your marketing link would go there that can be different than your username here this username here is for your login to your website. So if you have a particular username that you remember, could you use it for other sites? You can go with it. If you have a different name for marketing purposes you want, you put that in this box right here. And uh, ultimately, you're going to have to uh, uh, update your uh, checking and uh, routing information, uh, banking information, because remember, with Savion, it's a two-way avenue here as far as uh, financial transactions. You're uh, initial 125 membership will come from your checking account and if you do everything right that we kind of teach you in the training on the 28 day cycle training you may never have to worry about that outgoing transaction from your bank account again because when you enroll three members of course now the system is going to start paying for your membership when you have accumulated commissions to pay for that okay 
But in the meantime, if any time a, a payment needs to be made, it would come from this checking account that you designate here. Now, the reverse side of that is all the outflow money coming back to you from your cashback shopping, also from your daily commissions, is going to come back into that account. So make sure that your account information is checked a couple of times. Make sure that you don't have any wrong digits because if you do, you won't get paid, and you don't want that. Here's another important piece right here, the placement information. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're working on a couple of changes on this placement uh, program right here that it's going to be uh, uh, much easier to uh, to follow. Some people have been a little confused by it initially on how this works, but whatever placement setting that is, and initially it's probably going to be defaulted to the leg that you came on. So a sponsor is building Team 2, and they invited you and you joined, you're going to be defaulted Team 2 as well. So that means the first person you enroll would go on your team two. If you want to uh, go ahead then and toggle the team one, then your next new members would jump on the team one. But uh, this is this slide was taken before some uh, recent updates in programming, so uh, it may not look exactly the way it looks now, but uh, we'll get that up to date here in the future. So this is the profile area, very important step one. Now let's move on to the next step. Once you are... Um, through with your profile, then we're going to go into the retail shopping membership registration. And this is where you're going to pop in your top 10 favorite retail stores online or offline. Okay. And uh, remember that, uh, you know, you cannot do gift cards or anything like that. But uh, the stores that you want to shop at, if they're online stores, you put the you know, target.com. Uh, the address would be www.target.com, obviously. And then, uh, you know, city and state, you can pick the target location where their headquarters, which happens to be Minneapolis, by the way, because Minnesota is the headquarters of Target. And uh, and then you would add, okay, and you're going to go through this process 10 different times. And just an example, if you need the address, just do a, have a window open with Google and just type in Target stores and, and uh, grab an address. Now, I put Target in as an actual brick and mortar, so I grab their address and I put it in there. And uh, then you go and get the next store and add it in, and you're going to go through this process uh, 10 different times. And every time you submit uh, a store into the information, a little pop-up up here, uh, as you can see right here, is going to come up on top of the page, you know, click on OK, and then it's going to go ahead and cycle through with a blank screen to enter in your next store. And you can see I started with Target, then we had Walmart, now Aldi was the third store we added in there. And, uh, and after you're, you know, you've got all 10 stores added in there, okay, then you're going to uh, see that uh, there's another half of the screen to finish here, okay. Uh, what you saw was the information on the top half. This is the bottom half of the, of the screen. So then you're going to come down and you're going to um, choose bank card, credit card, you know, and so forth. Uh, the last four digits of your primary payment for the... Uh, uh, payment that you're going to use with your membership and you know this is something that you can switch out every 30 days so once it's registered and locked in you can't change it for that 30 day time frame um, so you want to make sure that it's a debit card or a credit card that you know you're familiar with used to using that you're designating sort of as your primary card for the membership and then uh, punch your family size a little background information about the income category that your falls into uh, your preferences between name brand, generic store brands, or if no preference, and then your online signature type in your name. And uh, again, it says before you submit, make sure you have added all your stores. Layden, you want to make sure that you put all 10 of your stores in at one time. Uh, not advise you to come in and put in four stores or five stores and then think you can come back later because, folks, you will have to get out the 30 days before you can add your uh, the remaining six of your stores to redo it. Okay, once you submit it, it's submitted. So uh, definitely uh, figure out which stores you want to enter in and put all ten in at that one time. And again, a .com store like a Target.com, a Walmart.com, uh, is a separate store to be added from a Walmart or Target brick and mortar location. So if you shop both stores, if you do the brick and mortar down the street around the corner and you do the online as well, that's two. That's not one. That's two. Even though it's the same. Uh, you know, brand, Target, but one's online, one's offline, though there are two different stores counted in there, okay? So uh, that is a very important point right there to make sure that you get all 
10 of those added. Now, when you get to this page here, it says, congratulations, you have registered the following, and it's going to list out all your store. It's going to list, uh, highlight again your payment type, last four digits of your card, and then basically, uh, you know, you know that you registered your 10 stores correctly, okay? And then uh, what you want to do is be familiar with this piece down here. This is basically going to be the area that you're going to start submitting your receipts on. Now you can see we have a record this week's receipts and uh, we have a redemption tab. Now before you have a redemption obviously you have to get receipts recorded so that's going to be the first step and uh, what you're going to see on that is uh, when you have your receipt you're going to basically enter in these three pieces of information. Okay, The name of the store it's already in the drop down menu so you don't have to go and type it up and the address and all of that it's basically going to be right there for you. You just click that little drop down arrow and it's going to show all 10 of your stores, highlight it. Okay, this was at a Walmart transaction, so boom, there's Walmart. Uh, the date of the purchase, it's going to have some dates there because remember your reporting period starts at uh, 12.01 Sunday morning a.m. and it finishes at 11.59 on Saturday evening. That's your reporting period. So it's going to have those dates for that week listed. Just click on highlight particular day of the week you're on and that will uh, register the date and then uh, the amount purchased. Now the amount of the purchase does not include the tax. Okay, Make sure that the amount that you find on the receipt, now if it's gas, it's the total amount. So if you go to a gas station, taxes are built into the price, so it is a little price. But if you go to a retail store where they give you a subtotal, you add the local and state sales tax on top of that, you don't include the total, you only type in the amount of the subtotal. Hopefully everybody's clear on that. Uh, I even myself made a mistake on that early on, so I learned. But uh, make it use the subtotal um, and don't include any tips. Great, thanks Michelle, appreciate that. So then you're going to click the record button and that's going to register that amount and then it's going to look like this. You're going to have your registered amounts show up a little box down here and it said after I just recorded that at re Seat on 11 8. The total recorded thus far is 153.3, and there it is. Okay, so um, that is as simple as it is. Okay, so every time you get a receipt, you're going to come back, back in and you're going to go on record receipt. You're going to find the store of, out of your top 10 locations. You're going to enter the day of the week in that period. You're going to go ahead and submit the amount, and it's going to itemize it by the date and the amount over here. And, and and those are pending receipts, you know, that you'll be eligible for your cash back on. So that uh, total amount maximum per week is $300. So once that exceeds $300, folks, it's not going to accept any more receipts in that period, okay? Uh, and you can't carry forward, unfortunately, your receipts into the next period because it's only based upon what you report what's generated and reported has to be in the same period. So if you had some extra left over, you're like, oh, I didn't get a chance to use that. Well, that's okay. I mean, you know, um, you're going to you're gonna get another opportunity the next week to go and get receipts and save again. So just be sure to uh, uh, pay attention to your total. And if you still have room, remember that you have seven full days to get that thing up to $300 to maximize your cash uh, back for that period, which is $60. Okay, I see uh, Zach and Susan says we just maxed out our cash back at $60 for the week. All right, fantastic. Uh, how many other people maxed out their $60 this week? Anybody else? I know uh, I fell a little bit short. I, I still have some receipts to punch in and I missed it. So, um, now, once I did that, how much time do I have to change my list store? Well, you, every 30 days turned over, you can go ahead and change uh, change your stores because you haven't made a change, okay? So you should have you know, whatever amount of time. Just whatever time you change your stores, then it's going to be another 30 days from that date when you do make the change before you can change it again, okay? So that is, uh, and, uh, Bill says my wife and I both maxed out. Congratulations. Fantastic, guys. Okay, so... That is kind of the uh, the process. It's a very, very simple, straightforward process. I mean, uh, I don't know um, if we could make it any easier, but, you know, the fact of the matter is I know in February at the launch we're going to, uh, we're intending on making this a little bit easier as far as um, the process that can be 
I'm just going to say uh, without giving it all away that maybe it could be done maybe from a mobile phone. Okay, maybe. Um, hint. Um, so we'll, we'll see uh, see what happens here in February. So you're going to have to show up in February to find out exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, um, some of you may be looking about the redemption process. Okay, do I take pictures? Here's what do I have to do? Take keep number one. Get a, a storage box or a folder or a little uh, plastic zippy bag or something uh, where your workspace is, and keep your receipts there so you have them all located nice and neat and tidy. And then um, you're eligible to to make that redemption on those, and you need to submit the copies of those receipts. Then take pictures of them. And we will provide information on how to load that into the system. Now, um, some of that is still being uh, completed with uh, the development team, and uh, you know we're not ready to show that piece yet. That's going to be available here very soon. So look forward to a, another training video to be released here in the next, you know, probably seven to fourteen days. We'll have another little uh, training video to post out to YouTube and on the Facebook uh, channel with the Saturday training as well highlighting what the next step will be on the redemption process as far as getting the receipts loaded okay when that piece gets bolted on into this uh, membership portal so with that being said ladies and gentlemen that is going to wrap up the step-by-step -step. I hope that um, makes sense I think it's pretty straightforward um, does anybody have any other sincere about the step-by-step -step before we bring Kevin out here to, uh, to the next part of our training today. Uh, we are going to have a full Q&A segment here towards the end, too. So I, I don't want to hold us up any longer. I want to bring Kevin back out here. Uh, Kevin uh, does such a masterful job of explaining the 28-day membership renewal. Now, I know we just posted the video yesterday, that, yesterday on that. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it was my best attempt to explain it to you. Uh, but, you know, I think Kevin has some verbiage and understanding of it that maybe makes it even a little easier yet. And I know that we're striving for uh, the easy button, right? So um, if you ever need to explain this to somebody, you, you maybe want to really pay attention to what and how Kevin explains this. Now, I know you got the video as a fallback, and we're probably going to do a little, little touch in that video because um, I'm still – trying to gather, uh, get into Kevin's mind here and, and understand how he explains this because he does such a great job. So, Kevin, Marino, come on out and say a, a few words about this 28-day program and uh, anything you want to add step-by-step -step as well, take it away. All right. Great. Well, Steve, thanks. That was, I, I think that's a very important webinar for people to be able to go over. And we got a couple people asking if, uh, you can, if you're going to be posting that, I'm hoping you're going to be able to post that up there. Kevin, I, I don't have audio um, for you. I don't know if anybody else in the room has audio for Kevin right now. Uh, I see your uh, voice speaking on the little uh, symbol over there, but I don't hear you. Oh, you guys hear Kevin? Uh, I'm probably well, talking. They can, all, they can all hear me fine. It just seems that, uh, it seems that, that you're having the only issue there. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm typically, um, typically the problem. I can't. So, buddy, crazy. I'm, I'm hoping you guys can. Uh, I, I'm going to go through this quickly. Um, so, hopefully, you can. You guys can pick this up. Uh, just going to go ahead, guys. The we're, we're going to find out if if Steve can place that uh, the webinar, the recorded webinar, up on up online, that'll be great. The other thing that I want to cover here for you is a couple people have been questioning on the 28-day renewal and how exactly does it renew out of the back office, how does it renew for customers. Understand that a customer, it's 28, every 28 days, it'll hit their checking account, just like clockwork. 28 days, 28 days, 28 days, 28 days. Once you begin uh, to refer people and you have three or more on your team and you start earning the $5 a day or the $20 a day, what it's going to start to do is as that money begins to accumulate in your e-wallet, the goal and the, what, what they're shooting for and what you're shooting for at that point in time is to begin having your membership actually paid directly out of your e-wallet so it doesn't have to, uh, 
you know, be pulled directly from your checking account anymore. So once uh, someone gets in and they start earning the $5 a day, so if you're in period, let's just use period one as your first 28-day period. Your second 28-day period will be period two, your third 28-day uh, period, period three, and so forth, and there's 13 28-day periods during the year. So members, uh, they're going to be charged in e right the very first day of every 28-day every period. So once you start to, to become an affiliate and you become a founder and you start uh, earning dollars, What's going to happen is your e-wallet is going to accumulate dollars. So when you are in uh, period one and you you make five, your five dollars a day, if you have not accumulated one hundred and twenty-five dollars in your e-wallet by the time period two is about to begin, you're you're your checking account will be charged for your membership in for period two. If you have earned one hundred and twenty-five dollars during period one, so the first one twenty-five that you hear you earn, excuse me, in period one will automatically be withdrawn and will pay for your period two, which ensures that your checking account will not be charged. Now Period two begins. Once period two begins, as soon as you have your first $125 in your e-wallet during period two, it will automatically pay for period three. So it automatically will keep you, keep the, the following, or I should say the next period uh, going. What's nice about that, um, is, is as you have the consistency of once you're earning the dollars, it will come directly out of uh, your e-wallet as opposed to coming out of your checking account. So those of you that are on the line that have already gotten to, you know, pass uh, or your founder already and entering into period two, uh, obviously the 125 is going to be covered. Those of you that hit um, elite or one star or two, Obviously, you know, you're going to earn that 125 a little faster. So, you know, as soon as that 125 is in, that next pay period, or I should say that next 28-day period is already covered. So it really leads to, uh, it gives consistency um, throughout the network, and it gives you a buffer so you never have to worry, oh, you know, did I have the money in my account? I wasn't sure if it was in. Oh, they tried to hit the account. And it, and it bounced, what do I do? I, I'm going to lose my volume or I'm going to be disqualified. I'm going to lose my receipt. You don't have to worry about any of that because it, it goes one step ahead. So all of the people who are, are working this and who are, um, who are actively, who are founders and above will have that consistency that they can count on. Um, Bill asked a question. Uh, can you pay for a pass if they don't want their checking account uh, information, I'm, I'm assuming? Um, yeah, for instance, uh, we've got some people that have come in and, you know, they, you know, they say, hey, you know, I, you know, either I don't have a checking account or uh, I, I, for whatever reason I don't want to put my checking account information in at this point in time. That will work. You can pay for them with pass. Here's my question to them, though. Are you planning on making money? Because if you're planning on making money, you're eventually going to have to put your checking account information in so you can get paid. So we want to make sure that, that they're aware that eventually they're going to need to, to put that information in uh, so they will be able to get paid because uh, obviously you know, people are going to, to want to get paid. That's a, that's a that's a good point. There's uh, Zach. Thank you for putting that up there, or Susan, whichever one of you threw that up. Uh, there's a video uh, from corporate that covers uh, the subject. Uh, the reason I, I I like to cover it as well. Uh, sometimes uh, when some, they they refer to dates, uh, well, if you came in on November first, then this. I, instead of breaking it down and utilizing dates, think of it as just 13 periods of time. Just break the, 
break the your your twenty eight day periods one two three it's much easier uh, to relay that information so uh, you're going to run into that obviously uh, what is that the repetition is the key to understanding absolutely uh, it's very important to understand it if you come across people and you're having a little difficulty explaining it and they watch the video and they're not really sure please feel free to, to you know get me on the phone I'll do a quick three-way with them I've done this with a lot of people uh, over the last um, over the last few weeks because you know folks were all of a sudden you know 125 was was charged to their their e-wallet about the same time mine was and you know people started calling up going what is this so once you explain it to them uh, in the periods of time it really seems to uh, to sink in well and that that's what we're looking for uh, the passes again the, the one thing you want to watch with the passes is just because somebody got a pass doesn't mean well if they don't have enough money in their e-wallet for the next time how are you going to get their their next 28 day period paid for a lot of times when we're doing the uh, when we're talking about bringing people in with passes most of what we're doing with the passes is the pay it forward promotion and we actually started doing this before the promotion of, of being able to get five for five hundred dollars on the passes, which was a twenty percent savings. We were doing this ahead of time and saying, hey, let's I'll cover you with a pass. You get in, get started. Here's what here's what I'd like to see you do. Uh, you start talking to folks and when they're ready, you buy the you buy three passes and you pay for three people's way in. And then you have the exact same conversation that I'm having with you. That's what we were doing with the passes prior to the pay it forward promotion. Now, with the pay it forward promotion, we're doing it with five people. And you find five people and you basically just sit down and you have a chat with them and say, listen, here's the deal. I'll cover your way in. And then what, what I'd like to see you do is you do the same thing. We're doing a pay it forward. You buy five passes, you find five people, and you have the exact same conversation with them. Think about it for a second. All right? Because if, if you do this, all right, and you, you get your five, you go out there, you, you do the pay forward with five people. You now have yourself at, at least five people on your team. If only three of those people go out and do the same thing that you did, then you're looking at having at least 20 people on your team because you got you, uh, the five people you brought in, each of them go out and get five. You know that's that's another 15 with 20 people, folks. You've already crossed over the VIP level there for a second. All you did is, is and that's only step one of the pay it forward promotion. So there's a lot of power in that promotion because if again only three out of five do it, so instead of the 15 going out there and doing it, only three of them do. All right, or only got five, that's nine. So if the nine of them go out, that's 45 new folks plus the ones you already had. Again, you're, you're stepping up to the next level. It's very important that you understand. So you're, you're hitting VIP, you're hitting elite, and you're, and you're knocking on the door at that point in time of one star. Folks, your income for the, the investment that you made of that 500 to to do the pay it forward to have that conversation with people. I mean, already you're at twenty dollars or at thirty dollars a day. You know, how close are you at that point in time? You know, to to being at uh, at fifty dollars a day. You know, you have to look at how quickly do you actually are. Uh, what position are you in? How quickly will you uh, earn that those dollars back? How quick is your return on investment? So if, if you really, if it becomes a thing with your team, you will really be able to, to really push this forward. So that's what we're looking to, that's what we're, we're, we're talking about. Obviously, it's not anything that's mandatory for folks, but it is something that is a promotion that's really gaining some steam. Uh, a lot of folks out there really, really digging it, and, and that's where we're going. So I'm going to ask Steve if he can hear me yet, because a lot of other folks can hear me, but he doesn't seem to be the one to be able to hear me. So Steve, are you hearing me at all yet? 
I heard it all, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, it was just that initial couple minutes I couldn't hear you, but now I heard everything you said. It was fantastic. Great stuff. Just had a couple of uh, uh, add-on thoughts uh, to what you were saying. Um, the first one is that if you watch the training video, you'll see that we have created an, uh, uh, a goal, if you will, that everybody should really jump onto the day you join. And, and when you're enrolling new uh, affiliates into the business, and their intention is to use Savian as not only the money saving opportunity, but a money making opportunity. If that's their intention. Then you really want to and get them into the mindset from day number one to get on it day one and work like mad over the next 72 hours. Because if you can help them achieve one new enrolled member uh, each day over the first three days, or they can get all three of the same day. I mean, they can do it as quickly as they can, but definitely try to knock out your three enrolled memberships by the third end of the third day. And why is that a key? I'll tell you. The video explains this, but. Why that's a key is because basically you have set yourself up within your first 28 day period that Kevin talked about to have the timing work out right where you're going to be generating a $5 daily income providing your three memberships stay active over that 30 day period uh, and that's a, that's a given we're going to assume that that your $5 daily income starts to accrue in your e-wallet and by the that uh, end of that first period that's going to start into the second period, the system is going to look into your e-wallet to see how much in you know how much is there if it can capture the necessary 125 to do it for the second period. And if you had qualified with your three better than free within your first three days, so obviously we can say the number three is a pretty important thing here with Savian, right? Get your three within three days, and that's going to put you in a position where you won't have to uh, pay out of your pocket again. Okay, your checking account would not be debited because the 125 would be there in your e-wallet because it's had a full 25 days to build up and at the end of that 20 day period the money was there the system captures it you're set and renewed for the next 28 days so that is why if you uh, really are thinking you know when I roll my three I don't want to have to pay again out of my checking account that's a great plan get on it right away and knock out your three within your first three days I'll think about all the benefits of promoting that for you personally it's a great benefit because then you can uh, be zero out of pocket every month thereafter every period thereafter the second thing is, is by promoting that you're teaching some pretty fast duplication in your organization on a multiple of three. So you can see how fast you're going to grow and climb to these ranks. It's going to really accelerate uh, your income and the people in your organization. And the ultimate goal here, guys, is that this is a benefit. I want some people maybe have a little different take on this, but you need to come around to the side of seeing it for what it, what it was designed to do. This was designed to make it easier for people to manage their business because your business will take over once you start hitting daily income and rank up especially to the VIP founder where you jump up from five dollars a day to twenty dollars a day you're gonna start to see that it's gonna be very easy for you to hit the 125 where the system is gonna capture that in the e-wallet and it's gonna keep your uh, your your periods renewed automatically without you even having to worry about it. You don't have to worry about your checking account being debited. The same with your team uh, that's uh, working behind you. And this is going to create that buffer that Kevin talked about. That buffer is going to be set up where you're one month in advance already taken care of with your uh, your uh, pre-qualified because that first 125 in every 28 day period is going to uh, basically renew you for the next 20 days. That is creating a solid, solid residual income track from your whole organization. You know, where people don't have to worry about their checking account. Uh, you know, maybe that particular draft day, and a lot of companies, you know, if something came out and they were short, it would overdraft their account. Um, and maybe they have a bill to pay, and they don't, they'd rather pay their bill than pay their monthly renewal. You know, th those things are really a, a foregone conclusion when you have your business paying for itself. And folks, who in 
the mindset of an entrepreneur or small business owner doesn't understand that, that you want your business to take care of itself. You don't want to have to pay out of your pocket fund your business every month. You want your business to cash flow and generate enough revenue that it can take care of your monthly obligations to keep you in business so it can grow to the next level the next month. And that is what this whole system was built around, was the idea that you could pay one time out of your pocket, enroll your three, and then literally let the system take over. Now, I understand that maybe is a little bit of a perfect world because you know not everybody maybe uh, got that memo and didn't understand it up front, and some people maybe got their three 20 days into it or maybe uh, 28 days into the program and so forth. So uh, moving forward for your new people, understand that, that, that how important those first three and three days really is. Now, for those of you that didn't qualify for that, that's okay because basically what you want to do is just get your three and then start ranking up and getting yourself to the VIP level where your pay will jump from 5 to $20. That's going to help you, you know, uh, get caught up. Uh, with your uh, prepayment of your next period, you know, because the system is basically trying to create that buffer once again that Kevin talked about, so that you're always set. And and with that buffer in place, ladies and gentlemen, you'll always be qualified. You'll never ever be not qualified to where you know you lose a dime of commission, to where your organization goes inactive, that you lose access to your genealogy. All those things are things that come with inactivity. So if there was ever a time where you know you weren't uh, staying qualified for whatever reason, you know, you know, you're, you didn't have three active members. Uh, perhaps the day the system tried to debit your account, the account wasn't uh, sufficient to drop, draft it. If your account ever went inactive, of course, like any network marketing company with an inactive account, uh, you won't be eligible to draw commission or anything. So, and your membership will be inactive. So you. In order to avoid that and keep your business moving forward positively, they built the buffer into the system. And I hope you can understand that and appreciate that. That is for your security to keep your daily residual income going. We're so different, ladies and gentlemen, than the rest of the industry. Everybody else in the industry has monthly qualification. They pay commissions on the 15th once a month. We are doing this over a rolling 28-day period where there is a daily residual income that's being applied and paid every single day. So um, hopefully that makes sense that you understand that what the company had tried to, to build in here was a safety net for everybody to uh, ensure this, uh, that your income remains intact and that you would never fall in and out of qualification uh, and have your account go inactive. So I'm going to wrap it at that. I think we pretty much have covered everything. Uh, we could take maybe five minutes for some questions, and I do have a Q&A mode here I'm going to go into right now. And the way it works is like this. You'll probably see on your screen um, chat a little hand. If you have a hand, you can click on that hand, and that will put you into a queue, and we will be able to uh, go ahead and address uh, your questions if anybody has a uh, question. You can type it into that Q&A mode there. Let me get. Uh, um, I'm just okay. Kevin, do you want to you want to go ahead and uh, and uh, explain that one more time for Bob the buffer? Sure. I'll uh, be happy. Okay. Thank you. Um. I was waiting for to see that little green uh, speaker start to move. Okay, great. Glad you can hear me. All right, on the buffer, here's the way it works. And you, if you're in your period one and you now earned 125, so whatever what and whenever that happens, 20 days in, 26 days in, as soon as you've earned 125, automatically period two will be paid for. So you're you're paid ahead a little bit. Now, if you get into period two. Let's say you're you're hit you've hit um, oh I don't know you you're a VIP founder all right VIP is getting paid twenty dollars a day well at a VIP founder it's only going to take you six or seven days depending on how much is still in your account it, I mean the most it could take you at that point in time is seven days to earn your first one twenty five in period two so as soon as you've earned that first 125, the e-wallet is, is going to remove that, and that covers you now for period three. 
So it's building that buffer for you. By the time you get into period three, well, a lot of people are going to be doing 30, 40, uh, I'm sorry, 30, 50, $100 a day by that point in time. So many people will actually have enough in there one or two days in to actually pay. So now they're in period three, they'll have enough already to pay for period four. Now understand, once period four is paid for, all the way during period three, the e-wallet will never take any other dollars out because you're already paid. Uh, your 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 buffer is already covered. You already have uh, period four paid in. So the next time it'll come out is once you're in period four. Whenever you have that first one twenty five, will cover from um, will cover from uh, period five. Now understand that this will not happen. And, and I see you guys talking about it on here. It absolutely will not happen from people who are doing cash back. If somebody has not reached the status of founder, but they have you know, 100, 200, you know, 250, 300 in their cash back account, that account will never be debited for their, um, for their, their commissions. I'm sorry, for their the paying their membership, okay? People who are uh, founders and above, and you have that going. Again, they will never take money out of a cashback e-wallet to cover membership. Completely separate. The only thing, the only e-wallet that will pay for membership is from earnings. So make sure that everybody has that distinction. Steve, I hope that that covered the distinction between the two, because I know you wanted to make sure that everybody understood that. Well, I understood it perfectly. I think the better person would ask would be Bob. Bob, does the do you understand the the situation now? Uh, the buffer that he speaks of, um, if that's clear, go ahead and let Kevin know. I think yeah, uh, it's perfect, perfectly clear the way I understand it. As you explained it, it's awesome. I love it. Really, really simplifies it. And, uh, you know, Zach was right. The repetition does increase our understanding. You know, the more we talk about it, the more you hear it being spoken, I think the more uh, clear it becomes in people's minds. And that's really key. The video, I hope, will help you through repetition. Watch the video five times, 10 times, 20 times if you have to. Okay. And uh, I use a little bit different verbiage than Kevin does. He uses periods. I talked about dates, but it really means the same thing. You know, it's it's that every 20 day period uh, that he talked about um, in the calendar as a visual kind of lays that out. So like let's see. Here. Uh, okay, Bob here. says he understands me? now. So mission accomplished there. Great job, guys. We're out of time. We are out of time. We were at noon Eastern time, and I promise uh, one Great. thing that as a webinar host, I never like to run over. Uh, I like to start on time and end on time, and we are at the end of the road. So this is going to wrap it up for today's. Sub Okay, go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Um, Joe had a question I, I thought was was a very good one. He asked, "Why can we, um, why can't we have three cards on there?" And the reason is the data. Uh, the whole point is to track the buying habits of one one individual. And if you had multiple, if you had the ability to have multiple cards on there, you could have a husband and wife, you could have a, a son or a daughter. And it, the, the whole point is to track one individual uh, buying habits. So hopefully that, that explains that for you, Joe. All right. Well, we are out of time, and I uh, hope that this was uh, helpful information. This presentation has been recorded. It will be up on the SavianVideo.com web YouTube channel by the, later this afternoon. And uh, so definitely share it with everybody that wasn't here today. And uh, tomorrow night, guys, uh, have a great rest of your weekend. But we're right back on it, guys. It's seven days a week. We are pushing, pushing, pushing the momentum here with Savian. We're back tomorrow night at 9 o'clock Eastern time with another uh, five-day presentation blitz as we start the next week. So get some people lined up for tomorrow night. And we will look forward to helping you build your Savian business. And uh, we are the dynamic duel. 
Kevin Marino and yours truly, we're here to help whatever we can do, help you advance your rank to the next level. Type in the chat right now if you're going to hit a new rank next week. I want to see who's fired up here in the room today. If you're going to hit a new rank next week, type in that's me or yes or absolutely or give me some Give me some feedback. Are you guys alive out there? Are you guys ready to take Savi into the moon and hit the next level? Who's ready to hit the next rank? Type in the, tell you what, let's take it a step further. Type in the name of the rank you're going to hit next week. If you're at a founder, put in VIP. If you're at a VIP, put on Elite. If you're at an Elite, put a one-star founder. Get yourself committed in front of everybody. Look at that. We got a lot of people, uh, Kevin, they are going to be uh, hitting it and getting it next week. are going to be ranking up. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys uh, uh, come up the ranks. And whatever we can do to help, we're here to do it. God bless everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. See you tomorrow night at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Thank you, Kevin Marino. Great job. Appreciate it, buddy. Great job. Good day, all.